inside my head, this voice inside my head, this voice inside my head, this voice inside my head, go mad.
three, two, one, go!
Once you get that good life uh. feeling, let me tell you, no one can take it away. No, 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 no. 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 I have got a feeling that you're gonna like it, yeah. but I'm doing to you. Uh, 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 uh. When I'm doing what I'm doing, I'll be doing what you want me to do. Uh. Hey, hey, hey.
Guys, please show some love to Len Faki. So how are you, Len? How was it tonight? It was... Uh, I have no words. It was incredible. I really enjoyed every, every minute. Uh, it was a great atmosphere and I didn't expect it that, that much, to be honest. Really? The really. vibe was fantastic. It was... Uh, I mean, the weather was super nice. We had yes. so much luck. Um, it was a perfect weather situation, so 21 degrees, sunny, everyone came with you in a good mood, so... And what, a perfect set. What I can think. I ask more? So, um, thank you. Thank, thank you. you so much for, for coming tonight, it was really amazing. Uh, uh, what was your first reaction when we uh, sent you this booking request of playing to play here tonight at the Intrepid Museum? I mean, it, first of all, it, it overhelped me. I mean, it's... Uh, it's a huge ship here, and uh, but secondly, my second thought was like, you know what? I mean, it was the first city I have ever played here in, in the States, yes. and so and I remember when I was here the first time, it overwhelmed me totally. I had like a complete connected time here, and I thought like, you know what? I think it's a, it's a great idea to do it here in New York. So, I love it to be here, it's, I love the mood, uh, the people, the diversity the whole city has and uh, yeah, I feel kind of home here. And some people are asking in the live stream, they were asking if you get inspired by this city and, and if New York, uh, does it inspire you? I mean, if there's a city which can, I mean, there's a couple of cities of course, of course. but the diversity which uh, which New York has is uh, is very unique. It's very very unique, and I spend hours just to walk here. Even like after so many years, all the time when I'm here, I take always like the next day. I mean, it will be tomorrow. I will walk around three, four, five hours just through the city again, 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 again. It, it doesn't get boring because just watching the people, the situations, the the atmosphere. It's for me a, br a brilliant city. Awesome. And I also wanted to talk about your last release uh, of uh, Robot Evolution. Right. Uh, and uh, that, that has been remixed by uh, a lot of uh, amazing artists. How did you choose uh, the artists you wanted to work with? Um, to go back, I mean, Robot Evolution was planned for the 15 years anniversary of the Figure 100 release last year, actually. Yeah. So at that time, I really thought about what happened in the last 15 years, you know? And that's why it called also like Robot Evolution. I really wanted to have like some kind of deep spacey track. But the future is going more and more like this kind of, you see it like with the social medias, with everything, like the technology, stuff like that, um, whatever. But on that case, I really wanted to have like a diversity of kind of artists for the, for the remixing also. And I really, take a long time for me like to put out like okay which combination should be the best and um, I'm super super happy that I found all these five together and um, yeah that's more or less uh, the idea behind and uh, about robot evolution do you feel it goes in the good way or the wrong way sorry do you feel it, the robot evolution Yes. Uh, the thing you said about social media, etc. Right. Do you feel it's going the good way or the wrong way? Um, either. I mean, it's. Uh, I think technology is a good thing, and um, also like the social media. I don't want to miss it and stuff like that. But we have to take care. Also, where's the border somehow? Yeah. And uh, that's maybe like the question I'm asking or I'm thinking about more. Not like to do like just black and white. But uh, it's, it's always like, you know, with everything in your life, you find the balance. And, um, and I feel like maybe we're trying to find the border right now a little bit. It's pushing, it's pushing, it's pushing. And, uh, but let's see where it goes. So, um, but the good thing is like, you have to think about it. And even like, if it's like every day, like a couple of minutes, you think about what are you doing? Um, that's enough, you know? And uh, you've been in the music industry since uh, a long time now. How do you feel, and, and you told me that New York was the first city you, you played at in the US. How do you feel uh, electronic music, underground electronic music has evolved in the, in the last years in the US? Um, 
I mean, of course, I can't say it too much because I'm mean, a couple of times here yeah. in the year. I'm not living here in the States. Okay. But um, what I know, it's like, of course, in the last years, I was happy to see that the techno scene growed up in a nice level. Um, actually, of course, it's, it's still a young scene yeah. or small scene, not a young scene, um, a small scene. Um, but I see also like the, there's a couple of young promoters starting like your own vision especially also here in the new city there's a, a couple of new places basements new clubs with new visions as said um, and this give me like some kind of oh, nice yeah. that's nice to see in LA you have also like some couple of nice good things and I mean at all I will say it's in a good way and um, I really hope it's developed in a good way you know yeah. okay I will just select one question on the online audience. Okay. Um, uh, so, question from Marsal. What is Lenfaki's plans for figure rest of this year? So, your label figure. Um, to be honest, the plan is done. Oh, the plan <laughs> is done? <laughs> yeah, we're, to be honest, yeah. I mean, it's, it's a, more or less the first time which we was like, planned like so many upcoming releases and also upcoming albums with the artists together uh, which was already like in March, April completely full uh, and uh, it's tough but I'm also happy that um, or it's happy to see in which direction we can go now with the label so yeah Thank you so much Alain for accepting this invitation here it was really an honor to have you here Thank you so much. Really happy. It was a pleasure, pleasure, pleasure to play. And uh, it was a fantastic one. Thank, Thank you. you. And we have a little tradition at Circle. It's the mystery box. It's a little gift we will offer you. And I think you, I hope you will like it, but I think you will like it. Oh, you have two gifts. First one, little gift. Okay, let's see. <laughs> and uh, the second gift. So you told me tomorrow you wanted to walk in New York, but you will fly tomorrow in New York. Did you see the helicopter that is right here filming the uh, filming this uh, live set? Well, tomorrow you will fly. You will have a little flight um, over New York. Uh, I hope you will like it. Uh, thank you so much. It's a gift from uh, our partner Fly Nyon. So thank you very much to them. Thank and everyone who was involved so much. Thank you, thank you. To, to all our partners, all the clubs, festivals and all our media partners. Thank you so much. Thank you guys for watching, commenting, liking, everything. Else. Thank you so much. And, and of course, thank you. We were really happy to have you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you next time.